2019, I'll be in Rewind. Watch me. I will be in Rewind. This isn't what I expected. She gon' hang out with a good man, rockstar, big hop, counting up a big man. I'm about to hit the base like a fisherman, count so fast. So, um... For the, for the past two years, I've done a series where basically I looked at YouTube Rewind. Uh, we have YouTube Rewind 2018, I'm not in it, and YouTube Rewind 2019, I'm still not in it. And now, nobody is in it. If you don't know what YouTube Rewind is, YouTube Rewind is basically a tradition YouTube has done for the past, I believe, eight to nine years, where they basically get some of the biggest creators that year, and some of the biggest like successes, and like some of the biggest trends of that year, and kind of mash them together. For example, we have like 2013, it was like Tobuscus, PewDiePie, Jacksepticeye, actually I don't even think Jacksepticeye existed yet, but like, you know, what, like shit like what does the fox say? And people over the years have gotten more and more angry at YouTube Rewind, basically hating it. And while I think the YouTube Rewind has also significantly gotten worse. Still an anniversary thing every year on YouTube. And in a year of 2020 where we've lost basically most of our traditions and most of our hopes and happiness, we can't even make fun of this. Now, YouTube released a statement today about YouTube Rewind and how basically... Well, I'll just read it. So it says... Since 2010, we've ended the year with Rewind, a look back at the year's most impactful creators, videos, and trends. Whether you love it or only remember 2018, either way, for example, 2018 uh, ended up being the most disliked YouTube video of all time, uh, YouTube Rewind 2018. I don't know why, because I actually liked that one, but whatever. Rewind was always meant to be a celebration of you. But 2020 has been different, and it doesn't feel right to carry on as if it weren't, so we're taking a break from Rewind this year. We know that so much of that good did happen in 2020 was created by all of you. You found ways to lift people up, help them cope, and make them laugh. You made a hard year genuinely better. So basically, what YouTube is saying here is that everyone's hated the past two rewinds, so they're too pussy to make a new one that, that people would like. They don't know how to change. That's what my pessimistic side would say. But... Thinking about it now, a YouTube Rewind 2020. Now, what have we really had this year for significance? We've had, um, what, Mr. Beast got bigger. We've had the rise of uh, Minecraft YouTubers and MC YouTube basically being revived as a whole, like, new genre after years, like with Dream and George Not Found. Uh, we have, uh, you know, basically the t continuation of SMPs, just a, a lot of fucking Minecraft, thinking about it now. And then obviously we have the continuation of TikTok and trends like that. Songs that would be played in Rewind would probably be like WAP and say so and uh probably not gooba um you know fucking um what else was big this year hold on yeah shit like lemonade and and mood by 24k gold and we'd have uh blinding lights probably a pop smoke song probably some ariana grande we'd probably have like rockstar by the baby wop say so uh, probably that dance monkey song that nobody likes. Those would be the music in YouTube Rewind. And then with more trends, I mean, obviously this year we it's it's election year. There was the Black Lives Matter movement. Um, they would probably have some type of LGBT representation like they do every year. BTS, probably another reference to BTS like they did last year. I don't know. I'm just trying to think of how the fuck a 2020 YouTube Rewind would look in my head. But like, I feel like this year was really reliant on creators online. This year was very reliant on people and, and, and content creators, and YouTube kind of is not taking that to their advantage. Because in a year where we've spent more than half of it, at least mo people, most people spent at least half of it inside doing nothing, it was really all pressure on to online creators and i think they could have made some fucking magic out of that at least some type of positive message but youtube just isn't going to do it i don't know how to feel about this ciao i'm stuck sorry for the two short videos in a row um it won't happen again but let me know what you think about 2020 rewind and the fact that it's not happening a contradicting opinion to mine Thank you, good night, I love you, I will be back some other time with something longer than four minutes. Take me back to the times I could read them. I don't know, I don't know what they want though. All my friends